We're cutting this break short, everybody, as the lower bracket final is about to begin. And this couldn't be much closer, Carson. Both had great tournaments thus far, of course, otherwise they wouldn't have this top three performance. Did you look at the MMR and the ELO of these two players? It's insane. On War 3 Champions, on the ladder, they are nine MMR points apart. And in ELO, on Walker 3info they are two MMR points apart. It doesn't get any closer in competitive Warcraft. Yeah, it's, and it seems, you know, to be true at this point. Seeing how strong Kaho has been in Night Elf Mirror, obviously Lalaite has nothing to prove at this point. He's a legend and an excellent player always when we see him. But uh, Kaho is, has been grinding and it's, it's well-deserved. I mean, he definitely... He's got nothing left to prove in this tournament. He's already had such a good performance, but he definitely wants that grand final spot. He definitely wants that W. So this is uh, this is definitely going to prove who the best medal from the world is right now. That, yeah, and we say this of Kaho. Unbelievable, this tournament. Foggy fell to him already. Will Law Lyot finish next? Law Lyot could become the second Korean champion after Soin. Kaho still with the chance of becoming the very, very first Chinese champion here at W3C or of course we have happy in the grand final which doesn't make things easier lower bracket final best of five first to three let's go all right concealed hill to start us off and a keeper from Laliat. it seems to be something more common in this tournament than others a keeper expecting of course a bottom which isn't too uncommon on concealed hill but if Laliat only knew Kaho is a DH boy through and through. Right on, and we see that here immediately. This is not unheard of. The keeper opening, we see it more and more also in uh, TP League, especially 15 Sway is a big fan of this. And he pairs it with a Pit Lord later, but it's an unusual opening, and that shows me already that Law Lyot does not want to go into Bear Mirror against Kaho at all. Yeah, the Pit Lord is a great point. It's because Keeper obviously is not going to scale later on once the mana burn is on level two. But what the Keeper can do later on is get Thorns Aura at a high level and then get a stacked up Pit Lord. A Pit Lord with good items and at least level three, if it is bear versus bear, is pretty much unstoppable. So it, a lot of the time forces the game into almost a base trade, which we've seen in the past. So. That is uh, Laliath's late game plan, most likely. He's gonna find some Wisp. Nice Moonwell there from Kaho to keep that Wisp alive. Obviously level one Entangle, if there's no Moonwell nearby, means that Wisp is dead. Exactly, so on point, Kaho once again showing. Knight of Mirror is his thing. He showed that against 15 Sway in the quarterfinal of TP Cup 3-0 in the battle of the two youngest Walker 3 Pro players that we have in the scene. 22 years old Kaho, 20 year old 15 Sway. But so far, a rather tame early game. Yeah, the light just sharking for some damage. Not a ton of creeping to be done for either. Concealed Hill tends to be this way. You can get to level two and then past that, it can be a little bit of a struggle. Kaho going to get Boots of Speed, which for obvious reasons is going to be excellent against that Keeper. And he's going to look around to try to get level two. Did Kaho deny a creep, by the way? I think he did. Well, we can check it. Yes, he did. Forest Troll Trapper, denied by the Ancient of War. Uh, maybe nerves coming into play. Yeah, he'll still get level 2, but uh, definitely going to delay that level 3. Laliat not going to have any such delay, although I might with a little spike there, but should be okay. Absolutely is. Yeah, Turtle Camp here, Crab Camp there. Thank you, Panorama, for the sub and Burrow Rush for the bits. Level 2 unlocked. Doesn't decide to go for Treants just yet. Oh, Demon Hunter. Don't want to be entangled and surrounded here. Even though he could probably fight out with the ring and evasion. Well, we'll see. Oh, sweet surround by Lawlight. Even opens this up a little bit. And now we got Shadow Melt. Yeah, no dust, no wisp at the lab for reveal. Although there could have been. But yeah, that's a TP. And Kaho really... Waiting a long time yet again, just like versus Happy earlier to Town Portal. It's going to be a lot of unnecessary damage, and Laliat takes the lead here with the extra Town Portal. 
I agree, but uh, compared to the game against Happy, I kind of like this here. He wants to force the moon well off of Lawlight as well. He didn't use any mana, while against Happy he was of course burning through his mana burns to keep the DK low, and that doesn't require... So, what the hell? I was counting <laughs> the archers, and I was like, is he playing mass range? It's lores... Uh, it's wins, Carson! Mass archer yeah. into talents! Very cool, very cool. I mean, just going straight up for the hard counter to the bears. And of course, you can control that demon hunter so there cannot be a ton of mana burns if you're cycloning him. Also, if there's a decent number of archers, you can deal with the dryads, which means the entangle can actually be really strong against the bears. I don't mind this at all for Lalaid. He's proven to be tricky, not just for Zork, but in Mir as well. Oh man, this is my absolute favorite kind of Night Elf Mirror. I did not expect the bottom second, though. This, Wait, uh, what the hell? Yeah! <laughs> Law Lion is playing so outside the box. And he's yeah. finding good targets, man. There's... He could go for... Okay, exactly. Entangle 2. Treants as well. Sees the lore. Super happy with that. He's doing major, major damage now. Lolliot is a, is a crazy man. All right, uh, the bottom, of course, not going to be the strongest target for mana burn, and you can just get orbs later on. Panda now for Kaho. Even though he probably saw that altar flashing and expected a demon hunter, he picked up the panda, of course, before he saw that altar, but uh, he's going to be happy to see just a priestess. One lore, what? not at risk of being canceled, but Lolliot, um I mean, it doesn't seem... Oh, Hippogriff Riders. That's what the wins are for, not Talons. Hippo Riders, Air Strat. Am I awake? <laughs> Am I dreaming? Is this a fever dream or something? Hippo riders in mirror. Um, okay, I mean, talents could easily be countered by dryads, even though Kaho is on the way to tier 3 already. When will this be scouted? And what will the adjustment be for Kaho? Yeah, that's a great question. It's a similar issue to Night Elf against Gargs, is they don't actually have a very solid answer to Mass Air, because Dryads get countered by piercing damage, and then Archers can be cleaned up normally by heroes. But uh, without a strong second hero for the Lyot, Archers might just be the be the play. Get a couple of Dryads, maybe a couple of Bears, and then just a ton of Archers. We'll see if the Lyot pivots into something else other than just Mass Air. I imagine eventually he'll start to get Talons, but for now, just Hippo Riders. Yeah, will he play it Garg Harass style? There is an AP for Kaho, and I really like this by Law Lyot, because Kaho doesn't have the biggest tournament experience. Of course, Law Lyot has been grinding tournaments for seven, eight years. You kind of want to play the standard, that's what you're used to if you're a newer player, or you want to decide to make the game of the series weird by yourself, but now you're in uncharted waters, basically. Like, how do you even react to this? Panda level 3 is going to be excellent, of course. Heal scrolls are going to be necessary. The Priestess did go for the Owl Scout. Uh, the Lyot proved to be able to use that quite well earlier in the tournament. And one thing about Mass Air on Concealed Hill, the Fountains, very viable early on. This is going to be a Red Drake for the Lyot. It's so odd. I mean, Panda will be good against this indeed. Fruit of Accuracy kind of useless if we have the Potom already. Hunter Souls coming in, Lawlight going into a transition now. Almost StarCraft-esque how he's adjusting his strategies. Going for some creeping, then goes into a new unit. But he goes Talons, and at the same time builds a Hunter Soul. Yeah, Wellspring and Ultra Vision, of course, excellent upgrades. Can also get some attack upgrades, I suppose, for the Hippogriff Riders. But we'll also open them up maybe later for... If there isn't a ton of bears, like mountain giants we've seen from, you know, talons into mountain giants, something like that. But uh, it's it's all craziness. Anything's on the table for Lil' Yeah, uh, Definitely. First of all, these wisps, but Kao instantly putting them to the side under the shadow of the AP and more creeping. I think Kao is not playing this bad at all. So far, the Hippogriffs didn't do much damage, mostly to the Red Drake at the Fountain, but that's about it. Marksmanship done. Oh, of course, you need the Hunter's Hall for Marksmanship, right? I think I'm remembering that correct. That's yeah. why he needs the Hunter's Hall. There we go. And also Wellspring Ultra Vision. Makes sense for the Lyot. Okay. Let's see. Bear, Dryad, Archer, Panda. Demon Hunter on the way there, too. 
We got, like, the damage will be insane for Lawlight with Fairy Fire and True Shot, etc. etc. <laughs> that Panda, though. Drunken Haze and Fire. Didn't. Okay. Where's Did the fire, though? Yeah, Just where's the fire? I... There, there we it go. Is. Talon's working on a bear as well as the Entangle. Another Entangle on another bear. The Dryads, of course, focus down immediately so that Lyak can carry with this Keeper. Pop the greater mana, and Entangle proven to be pretty good even though there's a Demon Hunter. But not level 3. He prioritized levels on the Panda. But now the burn isn't as effective. Oh man, these Entangles were brutal. I think we can say throughout this entire tournament, the Entangles have brought Lolite where he is right now. First against Soen, then against Fly. Now in Night Elf Mirror of all things. Keeper, in a little bit of trouble. Oh, calculated well. Greedy, not going for that potion immediately or for the things immediately. Panda in trouble. Level up. Oh, no, in the worst possible moment. Yeah, he had staff off cooldown. That level almost could have saved him, but now he's just a level extra to come out of that altar. 110 seconds for that bad boy. And Laliat is very, very bruised and losing units, but obviously up a hero now. Oh, man. Solo experience for the Demon Hunter for a while. That's not too bad. But Cow with his back against the wall. Supply numbers don't really indicate that, but... This game so far is going Laliat's way. Question is, will there be a Mountain Giant transition for Cow, Or is he just playing Dryads? Yeah, he can get to 50 supply with the Dryads and then wait for the Lumber and get the upgrades. Obviously, you want to break up keep with two Mountain Giants already with the upgrades ready to go because they just take so long to get online. So later on, absolutely. If the Lumber isn't harassed too much, the Lyot showed he was going for that earlier. The Lyot also still isn't at his full strength. He still needs more Talons, more mana, and of course, the second orb is going to be huge value. Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good damage indeed. Owl Scout help Lolaid earlier against Foggy in this tournament stage and he goes for it again. Belt of Giant Strength again not the greatest attack upgrades coming in and Kao the one to push with bear damage. And no panda for another 30 seconds. He could get full mana, get staff teleportation and come into the fight. No problem though if he wants. Could even maybe grab a second orb if he had the gold on that panda as well. Town portal back for the Lyot. He's going to be able to defend most likely because no panda, no win. Step on cooldown. But Kao's retreat looks pretty good. Not too many entangles to be used here. Maybe time for boots, but it's also quite expensive. High ground advantage. Do you want to play that? Not really. Good dispel. Man, Kao's reaction's now on point. There is an entangle, but the triad is in position. The damage is enough, though, now with that second orb. Oh! Let's the bear slip away. The keeper's going to chase, but staff might be available. It is indeed, and Kaho saves that bear. And the creeps are running dry. So what is the next move for both these players? You mentioned mountain giants, but for Lilith, it's going to be an expansion. Exactly. Bottom right-hand side, he got that second base up. Kaho needs to scout this. Of course, scouting is a lot better for Lilith, thanks to the owl that he can just constantly send everywhere. Owl level two now as well. And Kao, no transition yet, really. It's just more Dryads. Light with plus two attack. I wonder if he's going to keep building Hippogriff Riders past the initial six that he had, because he's investing a lot in marksmanship. He's got plus two attack, so I guess he'll just keep having a few at least on the field. Of course, to deal with the Dryads, it's essential to have some piercing damage or anything that's not magic. Ooh, will Kao figure out that this is illusions? It's a lot of arrows. Drunken Haze, sweet! Cyclone, oh man! Can't prevent the Drunken Haze Breath of Fire combo though. Heal scroll against that, but that was the only one. Eliot taking a lot of damage on that secondary hero, but the Dryad's taking even more. The next breath is big, but not quite enough to get a lot of these Hippogriff Rider kills. The town's slightly out of position. A few of those are going to fall. That means no more Cyclone, but the Mana Burn not going to be too effective now that the heroes are both out of mana. Kaho seems to have the stronger army right now. If he can only keep his Panda alive, but the Entangled, the double orb, it's too strong. Oh man, almost an FFA strat here. Working out very, very well thus far. Demon Hunter still a menace. Supply lead slowly going in favor of Lawlight. Keeper level up two. Potom gets it with the potion. Now he's fighting basically a forest here in the base. Yeah, and 
Goliath. <laughs> the orbs are too strong. The Demon Hunter probably going to die here. There's no way out alive if there's an entangle, but he gets the mana burn off. Okay, the demon will be barely able to run away. 20 health, 10 health, one attack to Talon. Gets it there, and GG is called, and 1-0 for the light with the wackiest of game ones. <laughs> Who plays Night of Mirror like this? Nobody. Lolliot going 3-0 on the final day of the War 3 Champions Finals, and Kaho, the opposite, 0-4 for him. The first three days were so amazing. Play-in stage, wonderful tournament. Day one also, without dropping a single map. But now today, something's really off. He's not ready for the big boys. Yeah, not ready for these crazy strategies. I I, I imagine this isn't too uncommon, the, the Hippogriff Riders on Concealed Hill. What is really uncommon, undoubtedly, is the bottom second. It's so weird you would so often probably see a naga in that situation and uh maybe even a bottom third for the triple or but the double was enough and now the second map will we finally have that bear mirror it's going to be amazonia which is a strong bottom map could be another keeper situation on the table but uh kaho most likely will stick with that demon hunter while we're loading into the map, we have more contributions to the prize pool. Thank you, Just Ross with the $15, Orange Fury for the Night Elf profile picture, the Elfish for the Back to Walker profile picture, which is, of course, the most beautiful one of them all, and Strobe with 50 bucks, 3,508. That is a beautiful number, but don't you guys like a four as the first digit more? It rhymes, and what rhymes is good. So, guys, w3cfinals.backtowarcraft.com. That's the match arena link. We also have quests on the sidebar. For example, downloading the test text now app adds three dollars to the prize pool if you're in the region where this is applicable. But now, Kaho, can he finally start the tournament with uh, or yeah. come into the tournament with the win? Yeah, it's tough. I'm just trying to think right now of like what even is the perfect army against that because archers would be the best because there's not a ton of AoE and you can control the heroes with, you know, mana burn and stuff like that. But um, then you need dryads to deal with the entangle, of course, or else your heroes get focused. But then you need bears for rejuve. I just don't know, like mountain giants you mentioned would have been great to keep the dryads alive, but there just seems to be no perfect army against what Eliot did, unless you're already massively ahead. And that seems to be the case against gargs as well at times. If you're not in a good position, um, you can't really counter a huge mass of gargs. It's a severe weakness of night elf at times. Oh man, this is this is a funny, funny day. Eliot is taking a little bit of a break. It was his third game in a row. Maybe a little breather, maybe standing up, maybe meditating a little bit. Every player has their own traditions here. Kao is ready. Lawlight is ready. We are ready. Map number two. Where does the series go? Is it the clean 2-0 for Lawlight and three match points in a row? Or will Kao be finally be able to show his A-game and take the first map of the day to make this a series? Amazonia, you said it. Lots of options. And we'll see what these players are going for. Map number two. Off we go. All right. Will it be the bear mirror that uh, I've been enjoying a lot recently, actually? Would love to see at least a couple bear mirrors in this series. But Laliad, is he going to continue being tricky? Because uh, it seems to be working so far today. Absolutely. 100%. How tricky can you be on AZ? There is this... Ultra weird strat with archers into shredder. Yes, yeah, classic. This Do might be it. Even. This might be it. If you really want to go into the ultra weird territory, go for shredder push. That's a classic. I remember the first time I saw that, I think, was Grubby playing off race on Terran Stand versus like an American player. <laughs> and he did it in Night Elf Mirror. I remember that was one of the first YouTube commentaries I saw. A classic strategy, still viable. Shredders, those of you who don't know, do a ton of damage. I think upwards of, of 60 something maximum damage. Um, they're extremely good and they can be repaired and you can follow it up with Ancient Wars and stuff. And Laliat gonna stick with the Keeper against the Demon Hunter Akaho. He's, he's comfortable with this Keeper. Exactly. 
even if there's little mana. This map is a lot smaller, so I guess we will see more mana burns. Also higher level Demon Hunter earlier on. But can you play a Shredder push with a Keeper? Imagine you got that Shredder, got a couple of Archers, you add some Treants. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, Shredder is also very, very good against heroes. Normal damage is the best type against heroes. So that Demon Hunter, a melee hero, could kind of get owned by them. But um, Reliant could do tons of things. He could go straight into Talons. Like we expected last game, he could do the air strat again. But smaller maps, I don't think, are perfect for air strategies. Still seems to be viable, though. Yeah, if, you know, if the map is smaller, you also arrive earlier. There's smaller chances to react to that early. You can play, or you can bounce sneaky between expansion and main, even though I don't expect an expansion here for Kao. This time, it looks like no deny. Nope, not just yet. Ring for Cow, not ideal. Ring for the Keeper as well, but yeah, level 2 unlocked. And Lawlight already... Oi, he's going into Hunts. Alright, this is different. One thing Lawlight could do here on Amazonia is you can get a pretty safe expansion if you build it where that green camp was. You can actually block it off with your Ancient War and a Moonwell, but might not see that. It's going to be... It seems like one Ancient War Huntresses. He would have already built that second AOW, so it's just going to be a couple of normal damage units to deal with the archers early on and then perhaps attack unless we see that second AOW soon. Yeah, you could also transition though. But Hunts aren't the greatest on this map, are they? Yes. Not too much medium armor, quite some piercing damage. In the middle they're good against the kobolds, I guess. So yeah, Hunts into tech. All right, early ultra vision. Pretty nice to play around the Demon Hunter mana burn. You can stay out of range, and you can also look for these archers to be out of position with the Entangle. Just Ultra Vision alone with that Keeper is almost worth. This should be a Wisp Detonate inside of Kaho, but he's going to be happy just to get rid of that Keeper mana pool. Boom, that's exactly what he's doing. Ultra Vision is the upgrade he's going for, and with that he has a big advantage on top of that 1-0 that he already got. And, oh no, not even attack advantage due to the Hunter's build order. That's delayed. See, so yeah, I guess we just have to wait and see what Lolliet unfolds here on T2. Yeah, this is weird. It seems to be not going, obviously, as well as last game. Kaho seems to be pretty well in control. He can continue creeping. That Huntress, on her lonesome, isn't going to be too strong against the Archers. It normally takes about three or so to really start to be able to pressure those Archers out of position. And as long as Kaho has a Wisp nearby at all times, he should have... No issues dealing with this Keeper, but the Keeper right now, three mana. That's not much. I think I have more mana. Possibly. Tanky Demon. That's kind of okay. Hunt on the left-hand side as well. With the movement of Lawliot, this kind of looks like he wants some mercenaries. He's expanding. All right. By the green camp, as expected, but it's still cancelable. It is a... Uh... Quite close to his main, though, which is the upside of Amazonia for Night Elf. Question is, will Kaho scout it? The Wisps, as you mentioned, have been pressured by the Huntress, so there's not a ton of scouting on the field right now for Kaho. Has to be careful with that Demon Hunter to get surrounded last game, but this game won't be the same. Feels like Lolite was setting up a little trap for the second hero to join, so that's not happening. And we talked a lot about Shredders. It's Kaho going for the Shredder, as he lost so many Wisps early. He's going to play very defensive as well, thinking there's maybe some sort of pressure coming his way, but he doesn't know about the expansion just yet. Going to sneak out of his base, maybe get Pooks of Speed, but Lilliat happy just to creep up right now. And then soon we're going to see what Lilliat's tier 2 choice is. He's building lores now, and no second hero yet in sight. Hmm. Is he just playing Mass Dryads, Moon style? Mm-hmm. This is, or uh, Moon plays this with a Podum, or played this with a Podum, I guess. Lolite is adding her a second. Oh, Arch is getting caught. Well, there's no dust, but there could be Reveal. The Shredder joins in, an excellent fighter. Yeah, 61 max damage. Going to be insane against the Archer, almost four-shotting her. And Kaho, a nice defense yet again, but 
does he know about the expansion? He was moseying on over there, but the expo finished just on time uh -huh. to reroute somewhere. The demon hunter lurking around, but doesn't know yet. He has an idea, but he's just missing it. That's going to oh. be a problem. Tree is hiding better and better. He doesn't see it. Ooh, that might give him a wrong idea of what's happening in this game. And he's going to see the Potom now, too. Laliat, with that Potom second, I mean, Mass Dryad, as you mentioned, probably the right way to go for Laliat, but he's definitely going to want Tier 3 for orbs, if anything. Um, so it's going to be quite the investment later on. For now, he just needs Mass. Naga second for Kaho. He's actually picking the perfect time to go aggro on the map. Exactly. Goes onto that creep. That prevents the expansion for a bit. But he's also retreating. Naga, it is. Getting the creeps involved as well. This is a calm before the storm situation. Yeah, nice little delay from Kaho, not allowing Laliat to creep. And in retreat, he's going to be able to take possibly a nice camp. But I think all he wants to do currently Players is continue pressuring the Demon Hunter. Has, only has level one mana burn. So the Keeper will be able to get some entangles off if Kaho allows it. And the expansion creep is started again, but here comes Kaho yet again. At least threatening it. Can you commit, Lolite? Can you finish this? Can you clean this? It's a handful of drives. Good piercing damage against everything that Lolite has. Supply numbers even. Could get another mana burn off. And that's exactly what he's aiming for. Entangled, focus fire, dispelled immediately. Kaho with the quick fingers. Dryad's going down on both sides. More piercing damage on the side of Kaho, but the normal damage against the archers is going to favor Laliat, of course. Reinforcements streaming in. The expansion is dealing with the rock golem, but they are going to need some assistance from the units eventually. Seems like Kaho is doing enough here. He's pressuring back one of the Huntresses, but the Naga might be the Achilles heel of this army for Kaho. It was quite smart just falling down as well. And I think the tree can do it. Oh, Kaho. It's another dry it down, gets a trade, level 3 on the Demon Hunter, who can always become the carry of this match. Kao definitely more competitive than in game 1, but this expansion is a time bomb for him. Okay, the expansion roots, the Ancient War goes down, pure chaos, the Lyot Town Portal's back to the tree, just in time to get most of the experience, though he denies, I think, two of those creeps there, actually. Yeah, denies two of them. Unfortunate Whoops. for the light, he could have queued a wisp up and it would have stopped that, but at least the expansion's safe. <laughs> Including the rock golem, that was quite a bit. But yeah, Expo is up and Kao is down in supply. The young Chinese again with his back against the wall. It's really going 0-5 on the final day of War 3 Champions. He has bears now, and that's the weapon against expansions. Absolutely, yeah. Bears against the Expo and the Demon with Orb soon against the Dryad. Scroll the Beast, that's not going to be useful. But extra gold will be nice for Kaho to start mounting up an offense, most likely. I doubt he's going to counter expand. He's probably going to try to get to 50 supply and then break Laliat if possible. That's the only way, right? Mm. Mass Dryads in Lawliot's hand. Good weapon, hard to reach, especially when there is a couple of entangles. Poison damage stacking up, especially with that additional damage from the true shot. Cow, time is ticking. There's no reinforced defenses, a so maybe a solid attack. shot for kicking that expo. Yeah, Sapper's still a possibility, but mm -hmm. Lion is scouting that with an Ancient of Wonders that at least his own lab. Kaho would be a huge investment to go for that if it does not pay off. Lolaya getting upgrades, getting abolish. Kaho trying to get up to Naga level 3, selling some items now. Maybe potion of vulnerability and go, go, go. He's got three bears with a fourth on the way. This could be a strong enough army. Lolaya already, though, 59 supply with the 70 supply Moonwell finishing right now. Okay, this will accelerate like crazy. Double heal scroll as well. Lolite knows exactly this is coming, and Kao takes a pit stop for, I don't know, maybe one of the game-winning items, but there's a lot of crowd control on Lolite's side, and Kao has nothing to do here. No business. Don't like the position of the young Chinese. 
And no orb either. He needs the orb on the Demon Hunter or even the Naga. He just needs the orb against these drives. That's the whole reason the Lyot got those double heal scrolls. By the way, triple slipper. <laughs> the bottom is not messing around here. Uh, pretty crazy damage on her. But yeah, the orb is... I, okay, counter expansion from Kaho. This is a distraction technique. Still, though, that orb, you need it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, he's posturing up. He's stalling a bit of time, seeing... I, f I, d I can't find an opening here, but that takes like three minutes plus to get this expo up. In a possible base race, of course, bears are better. Not that easy to knock down expansions, but you mentioned it. On this map, it's so easy to get sappers, and Lawlight plays, uh, loves to play sappers. 68 versus 49 in the 80 supply Moonwell. Perfectly on time. Zeppelin in the air for the Lyot. He's going to be able to micro his heart out here. And Kaho just posturing, just trying to buy space. He's saying, I'm going to push, I'm going to push. He's got the orb now. He is threatening the Lyot. The Lyot sees all with that Huntress Shadow Melded currently. It is kind of winnable for Kaho if he gets the perfect, perfect fight and the heal scrolls aren't as efficient as they could be, but... For now, just trying to secure that expansion. He is running out of time, though. The light is going to be 80 supply soon, and no longer will he have that fight. Love that scout by Law Light. He knows exactly what he does, so he pulls away, abandons that creep spot. Would love to see a scout, especially with Treants. Maybe a Wisp to the south. This should be suspicious by now. But yeah, he's taking that fight. He's confident. He got that big supply lead, and I got a spike. Oh, that's also unfortunate. Babs, indeed. Kaho, Naga in trouble. Going to the shop. No invul here. TP out right away. Sees no chance in this fight as Dryads are literally everywhere. Yeah, decent kills at the end there. Dryad killed for the Lyot, but two Dryads immediately killed by Kaho. We just see the strength of the Bear and the Demon Hunter if they can get on top of those Dryads. That's why the Lyot needs to kite. Needs to have a good spread on those Dryads. In order to win the fight, despite being up 20 supply currently, expansion, 60 seconds to it mines for Kaho. Well, I really wanted this mercenary camp. Doesn't get it. Kaho is constantly here. I really like that he's playing it this way. Never committing too much to the fight. Yeah, that TP. Okay. He couldn't run away from that anymore as Lolite was so committed. But he's not giving him much. He's not giving him anything on the map. Lolight a little... I mean, if Lolite leaves this position... The way is open for Kao to push the tree, right? And if he's yep. not leaving here, he can't get anything done because Kao is threatening that creep jack. Really nice strategical place from both of them. For sure, and Kao, Rima Dimo kept pointing it out earlier in the tournament. If he can get up to 65, 70 supply bears, it, it doesn't matter if you have 80 supply drives. It doesn't matter if you have a supply advantage. The bears are just going to be stronger. They have a full tech lead on the Dryad. So if Kaho can delay, Lolite is yet to scout that expansion. If he can get up like a couple more bears, Lolite is going to struggle to win this fight. Lolite's on the way to tier three as well. Damage again, kicking in on that Demon Hunter. Block with the tree and requires a staff, gets it. And now Kaho's expansion is kicking in. Economy evened out. Tech not evened out yet. A player's force <sighs> Would love to see heal scroll invuls maybe on Kao's side as well, but for now he can't afford it. Will he go for the creep jack? Devotion aura. Perfect. Ridiculous. Such a good item for the Lyot. The perfect item. He could get another aura potentially from the red camp. The red camp's very creepable for the Lyot in particular with those dryads. Kaho with no real way out currently. The staff is on the Naga. He's got an anti-magic potion. Gonna have to staff out that Naga right now though. Alright, now we're talking. Now we have a game. The light is getting ready for a hundred supply with the Moonwells. He's going to need it too. If there's too many more bears, again, it's going to be difficult. The Dryad first one falls. The spread is good for the Lyot, but the bears have managed to get on top. The piercing damage in the back is also good. Some bears are dropping low, but the Demon Hunter hits level four. Not a terrible fight, but that heal scroll you mentioned earlier is going to be needed for Kaho if he wants to save these bears. Oh man, he can't. How can he? Oh, that heal scroll is glorious for Lawlight and Cow's bears are all falling apart. Can't use the rejuve, it would immediately be dispelled. The Demon Hunter is falling as the staff was not on the Naga. Oh boy, Lawlight dominating this Night Elf Mirror in his very, very own style. That was one of the biggest Dryad Concaves I've ever seen. Damage uptime so good. Now the retreat. He got the gold. Can go for heal scroll. Heal everything back up. And that's his game then. 
Uh, just when Kaha was starting to get online, he was almost at 70 supply bears. He just got the second orb on the Naga. He needed a little bit longer for that expansion to fully pay off. Kaha would have been in a great position, but overextended a tiny bit. The Demon Hunter was super out of position with no staff on the Naga there. And now Lalai gets the red camp, is going to get level 5 on the Keeper most likely. Is it time to potentially retrain into Thorns Aura for Lalai, I wonder? Hmm. Yeah, why not? What do you get rid of? Probably Treants, eh? Entangle can always be an X Factor. Mm -hmm. Cloak, absolutely useless. Why well, Treants could help in a base race? Anyway, um, yeah, Cloak will be a sell for a heal scroll, I guess. There we go. And how do you get out of this cow? How can you possibly win this? Plus three attack for the Dryad. So far, that's all the has gotten out of tier three. He can, of course, can get Wellspring as well. Third armor, and he can get the orb, the oh so important orb that proved to be strong on Concealed Hill. Lyat finds the expansion as though he had already scouted it. Just runs straight there. Demon Hunter back in 35 seconds. I don't know if Kago can hold that long, though. Well, the Ancient has nature's blessing. <laughs> it's so many Dryads, it's ridiculous. Absolutely no chance. He can't run. He can't hide. And he's without his carry, the Demon Hunter. Whatever Lawlight focuses, it will just die. There's one staff and one staff only. Moon Juice empty. 13 supply lead. Naga level 4, okay, but these bears will disappear. Double Chimera Roost coming up behind this as well. Demon Hunter back in 3, 2, 1. But there goes three more bears for Kaho, and there's just two Dryads left. Still 80 supply as the Light replaces the two Dryads that he lost. And Tangle, just as the Demon Hunter gets back, no sooner does he fall. There is staff available, but what else is there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. No Sapa play. Oh, Kaho. What a nightmare this day is for you! You have nothing left but 1100 gold! Yeah, this looks hopeless, this looks desperate. This looks tilted, actually! <laughs> the Zeppelin, with so many low Dryads, almost 8 low HP Dryads that can later be saved. If Kaho could knock down that Zeppelin, maybe he could get a ton of kills, but the Fork Lightning isn't going to do much at all. One bear, two heroes. If Kaho manages to hold on, he's got chimeras to look forward to. Oh, man. Yeah, they're coming soon, but I don't think we will see this. He's holding on to dear life. Doesn't want to leave this. Oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. GG. Lolly 2-0. A flawless day for the Master of the Warden. So far, at least. And, oh, boy, is Kaho in trouble now. 2-0 and two different strategies, not for Kaho, but for the Lion. Will we get a third on our next map, which will be Turtle Rock? Again, I say, <laughs> Demon Hunter Mirror, this seems to be <laughs> a necessary map for Demon Hunter, but the Lion has proven me wrong before, and he definitely could again. I mean, the Keeper Potom is the Lion making this uh, meta now, a new hero composition. Damn, he is one of a kind for sure. So is our community crowdfunding $3,500 already for this tournament after $5,000 just three months ago. You guys, we can't thank you enough. The players can't thank you enough. You can boost this up to 4K as we have another series coming up. The grand final, of course, but Kaho. I talked about this a little bit about, for example, uh, Focus, who always is able to bring back series. But how is that for Kaho? With the little experience he has, how like stable is he in these situations? Yeah, he needs to win three maps in a row, and he needs to continuously guess what Lilliat's going to pull out next. There's so many strats that are still on the table that Lilliat is capable of doing, so the scouting has to be on point, and the counters have to be in the back of Kaho's mind at all times for the next three maps if he's going to do it he's going to have to win not just turtle rock but last refuge and autumn leaves as well it's going to be a tall tall task <sighs> okay maybe he can reset his mind to you real quick that is his last chance everybody thank you <laughs> new hero masuda 43 month of a sub not only is he doing the admin work here today not only did he help 
with the Orga, he's also paying us. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you Doing the that. work for us, paying us. I'd love to see it. Here at Back to Warcraft, you pay us when you work with us. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, Carson, give me money. I am a, I'm a, like a 30 month sub, Neo. True. N Remo isn't subbed, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, for sure. I think Remo subs to no one. Oh, really? Hmm. Some people are like that. Fair. Uh, is the game up? Or are what we all are reconnecting? We on four. We're on number four. Ah, okay. Seems That's to be working. working. Yep. Damn, all lied. What a player he is, eh? <laughs> this, is, uh, this is different. There's a squeak of my tea. There we go. One more tea for perhaps only one more game for Kaho in this tournament. Right on. Oh, man. This kind of paints his run a little black. Like, we were all praising yeah. him so high for his performances last week, uh, Friday, also yesterday in the TP League. And this puts a shadow on him for sure if he goes out without a single map. Yeah, I mean, and we are praising him in this particular matchup. But um, as the legendary Mango puts it, sometimes you just go out like a buster. And that happens even for the best Smash Pro, Smash Bros player in the entire world. So Kaho, if he does lose here, nothing to be ashamed of, but a couple things to take home, study, and work on, I suppose. Exactly. Also, twelve percent of the prize money, or like nine percent of the prize money. It's also not too shabby. But of course, a map here uh, would be a little bit of a booster indeed before he goes into his semifinal in TP League tomorrow in a rematch versus Happy. But yeah, it seems destined that we get a rematch of Season 10 in Happy versus Law Lyad. We have to go by both players, and the match is starting. Last chance for Kao. And another chance for Lolayet to show us some new meta here. We'll see what he does on Turtle Rock. Classically, thinking back to the olden days of this map, it was always Dima Hunter Naga, Mass Archer, Mass Ancient of Wars. I'm sure you remember that very well, but uh, today, I mean, that would be a treat to see, I'll be honest, but uh, probably not. Yeah, you know, Mass Ancient of War meta, I don't necessarily miss it, but for <laughs> once, I wouldn't mind. Bottom five o'clock position is Lawlight, and then the l upper left hand side, 10 o'clock, is the last chance for Kaho, who's also the last chance for China, as Fly was eliminated early on. Man, I have rarely seen people win three maps in a row against Lawlight. I think if one can do it, it's possibly happy, but apart yeah. from that, no one really. Right, Ancient of War. Uh, lucky spawn for the Lyot. He's uh, got the one spot where you can creep this orange camp with an AOW. And then I suppose the 11 o'clock position, he could creep the red if he wanted. And also the 11 o'clock position, you can do that cool little wisp pull into surround. So there's two spawns here on Turtle Rock that are good, and Kaho got neither of them. Also, the Lyot has the opportunity to do that nice Sonic style um, orange camp creep with just three archers where you shadow meld one in the front and keep two in the back and creep it so the light with plenty of uh creep routes available to him right on he's going for that and he's switching up the strats after two very successful keeper plays it's a demon hunter now same for kaho we gotta say turtle rock doesn't give you that many tools right um you can't go for zappelins zappers mercenaries and nothing yeah, and that's obviously Zeppelin, very, very crucial part of Baramir. Honestly, the most, if you're a Night Elf player, you might say toxic part of Baramir would be the Zeppelin drop, killing trees of eternity. That's toxic. not a possibility on Turtle Rock, so there's actually a very interesting dynamic that happens if it, there is a Baramir here, where the stalemate has to be broken by an expansion, not so much by a Zeppelin threatening a base race, or just the stalemate has to be broken by literally a straight-up base race without Zeppelins. Ooh, or maybe an early tier 2 push if you mm -hmm. get a, an opportunity to go to the tavern and your opponent doesn't. We'll see. I think Lawlight wants to do anything but bears. This is what the series has shown so far. But he also has a comfortable 2-0 lead, right? So might not be the end of the world if he loses this one. He will still have two more match points. And uh, speaking 
of people who work for us and pay us. Thank you, Riptide, for the 26-month resub. Less than three in time for the grand final. Riptide doing, of course, the beautiful graphics here for the War 3 Champions Finals. Also, thank you, Fail Life, for the five-month resub. And the light with a slight item advantage currently. That Your mental intelligence is not going to do attack. many favors for Kaho until the second heroes are out and the creep jack comes in. Mana burns are exchanged. Kaho left with 90 mana to the Lyot's 50, so... Okay, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get the last word there, and they both go home to heal up. Okay. Typical mirror thus far. We, I think the most important thing is, of course, like creeping and items, and... Archer count. Who stops Archer production at what time? Love the law light. Invis Archer Scout. Gives him good information. And Kao? I think Kao goes higher in supply. No? Four? Five Archers? That's a lot. Yeah, and then he'll maybe be the first to be able to get oh, the Ancient War over to the next camp. Eliot's, I think, is a slightly further away. Also more damaged, by the way, than Kaho's. So maybe Kaho will have the opportunity to take those consumables first. But Eliot now wastes no time going for the ward yet again, like he did earlier. And he's going to be able to get a nice item. And this permanent, permanent, that means forever. That means the entire game ward. Exactly, and once again, I praise this Invis Archer play. He knew exactly when Kao was coming, he knew exactly how much time he had, he knew exactly when to pull back. This is just great Night Elf play, displayed by Lawlight. Okay, it seems like Kao is stopping at five archers, good creep speed. He's walking across the entire map. A player's force yeah, he wants to... Uh get that next ward of course this one isn't as valuable i suppose though later on it's a nice scout for the late game creeps the other red camp the two turtles that are likely to be crept uh third and fourth because of where the ancient wars pivot to so this ward will be good later on the crystal ball might be good right now as it reveals the main base confirming at least that hunter's hall on the side of the lion Ooh, Playing with fire a little bit. 22 HP. Yikes. I would give some advantages to Lawlight already here. Yeah. He's going to be ahead in experience now, too. He's going to be able to get level 3. Kaho's the first one with the second hero, but the reason Lawlight hasn't picked up his second hero yet is because he's getting more experience right now. Being on tier 2 with the solo hero, as soon as he's level 3, he'll probably pick up that Naga or train that Keeper. Most likely Naga, though. Yeah, he is close to the tavern. Oh, no, he's actually not. He, he had a whisper there earlier, is, but... Like, yeah, some times you play Demon Hunter solo? Yeah. I kind of hate that, though. Yeah, true. That's the very old-school Korean Battle.net style. Every player on old uh, Lordaeron, was it? I forget what the Koreans... Oh, Kalimdor. Kalimdor. Yeah, they always played solo Demon Hunter on that ladder. I don't know why, <laughs> but every Night Elf did. <coughs> Probably because Moon was a fan, but also Moon. Sure. Not the greatest in Night Elf, Mura. That was always remind. Okay, we have a fight here. Kaho has to go for that potion that he just found. That's the Naga for Lawlight. Is that already the final fight of the lower bracket final? No level 3. It's a massive, massive disadvantage for Kaho. He's the first to run out of mana on his Demon Hunter. And of course, this means the Naga of Kaho is possibly dead without some perfect blocks. And they were not perfect. That is a dead Naga. And that's Lalayat going to kill an Archer as well. And he's going to be able to probably get his own Naga away because there's just no mana burn. There's not enough damage. Yeah, looks like it. At least he can deny trying to. Wakes up the creeps. I don't think he... No, he didn't get the deny, but hey. Cow needs more than this. Way more than this. Ancient War will give level 3 to that Demon Hunter if Kahu can secure it. It's going to take a lot of hits. So yeah, the Ancient War wins that fight. This time, at least. And the Dryas are now here. This Demon Hunter has to be careful. Oh. As Eliot comes back in with the healthier DH. Neo, you know, 39 seconds. Yeah. I'm hitting that drop button. I'm hit. I'm spam clicking it, Neo. Um, <clears throat> we might have a little issue here. As I, it says, I'm reconnected, but I am not reconnected. 
That I'm means I might have to go with the clean feet that you graciously provide. Do you want me to virtual cam so we can no, be at the no, same no. time? Because uh, clean uh, feed's delayed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that uh, rips your rips your internet. Also, no overlay then, I guess. Oh, there is. But, yeah. Um, that's on Forge. But okay. My we're Neo gonna, is gone. I am gone indeed, but we will be back with the rest of the game. That means that you're always 90 seconds ahead of me, so... Uh, Guess you have to cast from the past. Yeah, for sure. You do the play-by-play, -play and I'll I'll analyze what you say. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. I can't possibly lose. All right, we're getting there. All right, we're going to see that probably exchange again with the Ancient of War that was still alive at the end of the day for the Lyot, which is going to, of course, help him later on to be able to creep. That turtle, the gargantuan for consumables, is excellent, of course. Okay, we have now the engine of war attack, and this is me dropping out in a second. So that's where we are. Still, cow, how do you fix this? How do you fix this play? Um... Uh, yeah, we have to wait until I tick out. You did hit the drop button. Oh, okay, you faked it. <laughs> Sneaky bugger. I wouldn't click that. Don't worry, Neil. Of course, never. Never, know, never would you ever, eh? Yeah. Alright. So it's looking to be a bear mirror once they both hit that tier 3, of course. Question is, what will the play be is one player going to be more defensive are they going to afk in their base like we've seen in the past what will be the way to get an advantage for both of these players because it's normally the zeppelin as i mentioned earlier yeah now okay now we're in the game again wonderful you know there's a solution to everything oh hello kitty <laughs> except for kitties on broadcasts i guess Blocking my view. <laughs> okay, Can you good. refresh the overlay real quick? There's some issues there. I refresh it at the red camp. Perfectly. Okay. We're approaching tier three. We got Riju. We're approaching. Is that a little too low? No, that should be fine. Like, this is Kaho territory, though, right? This is this is Bamber. This is what he wanted to play all along. Yeah. And maybe with a good item, he can benefit here. There's always two philosophies, really. Either go for the consumables and get an edge in the fight, or go for the permanent ones. Cloth plus 12, not too bad. Yeah, Kaho gonna end up with two things. Definitely the stronger Demon Hunter and also the more comfortable game plan. Absolutely. He, uh... He's got really, really strong micro with those bears, and he seems to know exactly what to do to get ahead. Yeah. Upgrade so far... Pretty much the same. No master training yet for Kao. This will still take some time. As Lolite is sharking around. Tiny bit of a supply lead. But I don't think he can fight this with a cloth plus 12. No, he just wants to get shop control probably. Get the town portal. Still has 400 gold for the bears. Posturing up and not giving more camps to Kao. Yeah, of course. Turtle Rock, a map with it. Ton of creep camps. So if it does go later on, we can definitely see... Tons of nice items, level 5 Demon Hunter, and of course some nice aura. The uh, Scourge Bone Chime still up for grabs for yes. both players if they manage to make it to those natural red camps eventually. And there's, uh, you know, plenty of reds still available on Turtle Rock. Three left. Yeah, but only two with the Bone Chimes. That's, of course, the 11 o'clock and 4 o'clock position in the north. Maybe, you know, Brilliance Aura, Command Aura, Unholy Aura. Kao, can he get an advantage in upgrades? Nobody really going for upgrades. Kinda late. Kao also... Ah, there we go with the run of production. Now we kill off the archers to create more space for bears. Typical stalemate before the big bear fights. Yeah, and the question always becomes, when we do reach the stalemate situation, who will be the first to break upkeep? 
and when they do break upkeep, will they be able to break the base with that fight? Yeah. Okay. Is there a sneaky expansion somewhere? We're contesting the turtle. Mana burns all the way. There is no really a, not really a strong Naga, but we do have a fight. Okay, Riju on both sides. Lawlight's Demon Hunter already low, but Riju is running for a long time. Oh man, he's getting so much HP back. Also losing a couple of arches for that. Disengages. And that bear seems a little lost. Staff cooldown. Oh, not in range actually. Looks like a solid Kaho fight for now. Definitely better than all the other fights on the first two maps. Just has to bring it home. Both Nagas in a lot of trouble. Town portal here, but Lolai loses one. And that is, yeah, the first big one fight for Kaho. Yeah, possibly the first time Kaho in this series has got a real advantage there. Nice little clutch town portal. And that's going to pull him slightly far ahead. And um, still plenty of creeps to take with this map control that he now has with the second hero advantage. Exactly. Lawlight, of course, knows that if he gives Kao the time for the 11 o'clock position, that could potentially be a vampire, and that could potentially be basically an eight-click victory in a bear fight. So he doesn't want to give him that, but he has to. What are the odds? Like, he has a lower number of bears. His Naga is down. There's no chance to contest this. 50 supply. No player want to break up keep yet. And again, I say the red camp's quite tantalizing for both players, of course. Yep. So devotion aura, amazing. What's next? Will they contest the next red spot? This could be a nasty creep check. Lawlight has no TP. The Naga died with the TP and the staff. What? are you supposed to do when you're getting caught here? When you have your pants down and that's exactly what's happening. Oh no! Lawlight, you're in a world of trouble. Gets that item, Medallion of Courage, not too great. But here's the crowd control. Naga is in, Demon Hunter says hello! And there's only a potion, only a heal potion. If the crowd control is good, which... Oh, dodged a bullet there, I guess. Oh no! Maka oh w. no! Oh, no. You could say that a fourth time, Neo. You definitely could. Because I am from the future. Okay. That makes things quite interesting now. Yeah. We were talking about this earlier when we had Fly in the picture. Fly in the light. <sighs> this map cursed, apparently. I jinxed it, didn't I? I did think that. So. Yeah, Kaho in the best position he's been in all day in this game. Yeah. I don't think it was a massive advantage, <sighs> but he probably thought about it. It's like I don't want to be in a game where Neo is not in. <laughs> True. Yeah, he pulled the plug for you. Oh no. Yeah, and mm, that reconnect couldn't save him. And now we got an admin situation. Um, yeah. This is always a, uh, sometimes a tough, tough call because you have to make the call of, of what sort of situation the game is in. Is it so even that the admin can force it to be a regame? Or is it not even enough that we need the both players to agree on it? It's an extremely hard call yeah. whenever something like this happens. But most often in the Liat games, it tends to be a regame because he's just such a sportsman. Well, and, and Kaho, you know, was slightly in the lead, but not a big enough lead to say, like, I DC'd, but I want the win, if you understand what I mean there. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, according to the rules, it's like who drops loses, right? Because it's kind of like your fault, um, especially after there was contact, like after the first three minutes. But then there's sportsmanship coming into play as well and yeah we'll figure out what to do got a, another game name it seems like both players are cool with the regame which is nice yeah for sure uh, I gotta, what's the chat saying Yeah, people are saying, if Kaho win, go map four. <laughs> it was a decent spot, but he also was the one that disconnected, so. 
and it's bear mirror after all it's not it's not never a massive advantage in bear mirror until you trade your entire armies or kill the tree of eternity right on okay it looks like cow dropped again or does restart it again maybe resetting the internet that's a good call that's a good call but as the map is still turtle rock i think we can announce that it's a regame yeah good 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 and there's Always the, um, I suppose, another <clears throat> moral question, maybe. You have the first one with the admins trying to decide, you know, do we give them a regame if it was even or do we, you know, kick the person out of DC? But another question for the players is, do I try to counter the build my opponent just did? Happy. Or do I um, play the same thing over again? Because we both sort of, all the cards are on the table. Do we just sort of replay it as a dance in a way and try to play the same strat and see if we can uh, we can win you know, knowing what our opponent's going to do and knowing what we're going to do already. Yeah. Okay, then. Everything is set up for round two. Hopefully, this was the one jinxed map of the tournament. Shout out to the admins for a quick uh, solution. Shout out to Lawlight for fair sportsmanship. And shout out to the players because they will do great now again. Of course, the spawns are going to be slightly different, but um, actually better spawn this time around for Kaho because he can do the, the sneaky wisps around that we saw, I think, Laliat do last season. Laliat gets the same spawn for the same Ancient Wars, so they both have decent spots here. Wards as well with these uh, angled spawning positions. Both are equally as valuable now. Yeah, I remember that... Uh one here you trap one of the ogres here and you reacted like it's the most normal thing in the world while remo and i were freaking out yeah i mean to be fair i've i had done it before on ladder before i saw it there so i wasn't i wasn't overly surprised i mean but i'm i'm as i said earlier a professional athlete neo so <laughs> can't blame me yeah uh the discipline is cutting sleep short that's what True. you're best at, I guess. Yep. All right, DH Mirror. Again, no trickery here for the regame. Both players playing it, in my opinion, the honorable way, playing the same yeah. strategy again. I agree. I agree. And of course, we have a little bit of roulette when it comes to the items again. Lolaid can basically play the entire game as he did before, Player. just a little less stressful. Oh, Takes, of course, the opportunity away to contest the shop because, you know, Kao is not on that same lane. So it will be a little bit of a different game, especially in the early mid game. And we'll see uh, if Kao can have that nice exchange later on. Of course, remembering back to that last game, Laliat was the one that won the Naga exchange because Kao was like five experience off level three. So maybe he can clean up the creeping slightly and then have a more even tier two exchange. Yeah. Laliat is gonna shark around with the Demon Hunter. Is he looking for a Wisp or something? No, he's just going to get another permanent item. And Kaho does land the double surround. There it is, beautiful. Ah, oh wow, double surround even. We only saw it with one recently. It works with both of them. Yup. In fact, Laliat did it poorly last season. <laughs> Of course, Carson knows it. It's, it would be kind of cool if we get a traditional Turtle Rock Ogre Creep spot, but this is also the last time we see Turtle Rock. Or is it still in? Is what it did in we remove? No it's, no, it's not in the pool anymore. See? Yeah, it might be the last time we see Turtle Rock ever. Bummer. We got the Red Camp Creep, though, from Lali at this tournament, and we got that surround from Kaho now. So all we need left is the, uh, well, we don't have the Blizzard Critter Creeping this tournament, unfortunately, but we do need the Archer, three Archer Creep to the uh, Turtle Camp. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that Lali didn't do it against Fly, but I think the Blade yeah. Master was just scouting too well. But Lali clearly, like, not moving to the, to the shop yet. Yeah. It's a very different Creep route. Not valuing that ward, I suppose, as much as he did last game because of the spawning positions, perhaps. Kaho, again, a 20 HP Demon Hunter for a second there. Again, gets the Crystal Ball. But uh, a better early game, I'd say. Cleaner, cleaner creeping. He can heal up and go back and clean up those trappers, and they're both going to be level 3, but Laliat's doing it with an Ancient of War instead. Ooh, okay. That saves a lot of Moon Juice. And a lot of HP. There we 
go. Everything set up, even with the wisp repair. That costs a little bit. But of course, speed is more important. Talisman, both very unlucky with the items, but it's a good chunk yep. of gold. Yeah, pretty even for the items. Both get some bad ones and some good ones, and both pick up a circlet for themselves. Or I think the light actually found his, whereas Kaho, I think, bought one of those. Could find another one now, but could say ring. But level three, of course, is what's important for both these players. Tier two. Gonna finish. Oh, Ancient War will live. Actually, very important to keep that Ancient War alive for the turtle camp next. Exactly. There's tons of damage to the medium armor. Kao maneuvers himself into a more aggressive position, but can't really contest it because he's so low. Just stealing an item away and retreats for that perfect level 3 on both sides. And as we reach tier 2, they're both going to be eyeing that tavern, of course. Kaho a little bit out of position currently. The Demon Hunter of Lalite is being very, very aggressive. Just going to go trade some mana burns, I guess. He just doesn't want his mana any longer. Or feels that he's in a position where he should and could trade it. Tier 2 done. Nobody at the tavern. Yet. Now both of them. Okay, Naga for Kao. Again a bit faster. Lyat going deep. Is he going to trade a town portal for lore cancels? He might have to if he takes too much damage with the Naga coming in. But the Naga actually just starts creeping. A calculated decision from Kaho. He says, I want the experience more than I potentially want this forced town portal that isn't even a guaranteed play. I think I agree with that. And the Lyat, um, where's his second hero, by the way? It's in the altar. It's a keeper. Ah. There we go. That's the switch up. Ooh, Frost Arrow. Nicely done by Kao. Switching the target away from the turtle as he sees the Demon Hunter here. Gets a couple of more chip damages in. But yeah, Keeper will take some time, but maybe the force that is Thorns Aura can tip the scales in the late game. Yes, of course, that is the dynamic with uh, Keeper versus Naga. Naga better right now because the immediate choice and the Frost Arrow is good for tempo play, but the Keeper is going to scale much better with the Thorns Aura in the Bear Mirror. An excellent, excellent aura. When it's all melee units, red camp. Perhaps hmm. for KO. If he could only get the demon back, maybe he could snag that overlord. I feel like it's a little too ambitious. Lolite is scouting for that, expecting that. Well done. Has a little bit of a lead now when it comes to Loris, of course. When it comes to tier 2, tier 3 units, maybe even bear tech. And tier 3 tech as well, right? Yeah, yeah. good chunk. Keeper and demon hunter. Going around the world right now for the Lyot, and he's going to maybe with Entangle snag. He's going for the Bone Chimes, possibly. And he might just be rewarded. He could actually go for both these red camps and roll the dice twice for this insane aura. That's so smart. Yeah, why not? It's easy to create Boots of Kelthala's nice reward. We roll the dice here indeed. Who gets the better items? And again, Cow having issues with his Ogre Lord. He got decent damage on it, but uh, he's, he could probably creep this whole camp, though, at least, thanks to the heal ward from the Ogre Magi. And the item could be nice. And Aura is what he's looking for, of course, to Kaggar's Endurance and Holy. They're all extremely good, even the Battle Drums. But he's taken a lot of damage from the Shockwave so far, and the Lyot seems to be gearing up with this Ancient of War now to take the third camp of the game with that. Cow with a Cloak of Flames. Remo and I have very different opinion on it. I think... It's rather on the bad end of the spectrum. Remo loves it on the Demon Hunter and Bear Mirror. What do you think? I think it's quite good. I don't think particularly in this matchup it's the best item. And Bear Mirror with melee units is great. I do think, for instance, like on a Blade Master against Night Elf, it's extremely strong. One of the best items, um, except for maybe like a Cag Guards or something. So in particular situations, it's very good. In this one, I'd say it's mid. Mid. Mid is okay. Mid is something... I can live with. Let's see, the next and last red spot will be contested, but I don't think Lolite is in time, is he? Try it, see him. This Warlord is definitely going cow's way. Ding, 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 oh, ding. Oh, oh. The Chinese just won the lottery. It's the Bone Chimes. He gets rewarded with the risk he took here. He might have to town portal thanks to the Entangle and the two Dryads here for the Lion, but well worth it, of course. Almost level four on the Demon Hunter as well. Is Kaho gonna stand his ground? I don't think he can. I think he should just get out of here. Where is 
spears. Did you leave them behind to not get intercepted? Yeah, this is just a giant archer army. There's nothing really you can do. He doesn't want to leave without any kills. Demon Hunter is tearing these archers apart. And actually, Cow leaves with murder. So, he's 13 supply down. Yeah, he lost a ton there. The Light only losing a single archer and more and more dies. Uh oh. Uh oh. The uh -oh. Might have to town portal out. Yeah. At the end of the day, still TP. That was a huge mistake. The bear is, is in range. Okay, just barely in range. People love that pun, and I accidentally say it every time. <laughs> barely. <laughs> he did that on purpose. We have a big supply lead cow. What's that? A thousand gold there. Wow. Why? How? I don't get it. But he's got the chimes, and you don't tend to break up keep too early in Bear Mirror, so he can catch up in the number game. But Laliat, of course, going to have map control. Going to go for another red camp here. Oh, yeah. His second, then. It is a good time to rebuild the Bear Army, get upgrades in as well, both with the first attack upgrade, but Lawlite already with the first defend upgrade. Uh, it's not gonna be easy, as of course the Thorns aura grows. It's nice to have the Bone Chimes, but it's nicer to have level 2 Thorns. Yeah, that is huge, as is the Demon Hunter for the Lion. Crazy, crazy items. I suppose on both ends, though, these Demon Hunters are gonna be massive carries. Um, we'll see if Kaho can find the fight he seems to be looking for. Just gonna take the consumable for now. Would love a greater heal. Oh, be nice to round off this Demon Hunter. Another creep jack. More mana burned on both sides. Okay, will the cloak play a role here? Naga immediately on the fire into the invul potion, and man, this bear fight might decide this lower bracket final. Very messy start. Dryad falls, Archer falls, push and vulnerability does last long enough to get that Naga topped off again. Demon Hunter for the Lyot taking a ton of damage for Kaho. Quite a bit healthier. The Keeper taking a ton of damage, might be forced into a town portal. By the way, Protection Scroll was not invested by Lalaya, but the town portal will have to be. This bear was attempted to be denied, but will just fall. And Kaho wins a fight at a similar timing to the last game as well. Right on, we're fighting now. The Keeper chased away from the fight very, very early on, so the Thorns Aura didn't even work too well in this fight. And Kaho, of course, at the same time healing up. He still has that big mana push, and that <sighs> keeps him in the tournament. That messy fight kept him in the tournament. Maybe he can catch up now. One, two upgrades for Lawlight. One O oh, only for Kaho. But yeah, maybe time to catch up now. A player's Couple of creep camps attack. left. Is there enough experience on this map to get the demons up to level five? Of course, if they're both level five demon hunters, it's going to favor Laliat because he has effectiveness with that aura, even if his keeper's out of mana, whereas that Naga going to do nothing. Maybe if you can get an orb Kaho on that Naga, it would still have value despite no mana. But, uh, level four, speaking of the Naga, and couple creep camps left. What is there? The remnants of three oranges and a green left here on Turtle Rock. And then we get into the true stalemate. Claws plus nine on the ground for the Lyot. Will he pick that up with the Demon Hunter? Seems like he's going to have to. Okay. Yeah, more damage on him. That is close to level five then. He really shouldn't forget about that. It comes down to heal scrolls, protection scrolls, who uses raw better, who gets the better upgrades. Not much to do. Quite a long game as we have Total Rock crapped out. Cow, this is the best position he was ever in. It's going to be down a demon level as Eliot wisely solo creeps. Oh, yeah, he actually gets double level ups by moving that keeper away. Demon going to go down and get those claws. Did he forget? He did, did he forget? Short-term yep. memory doesn't grab him. That would have been a huge upgrade. Oh, he has another chance. Oh, no. Okay, he wants to burn now. Cow setting up a little dryad flank. He totally forgot about that. Oh, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Somebody's going to get it eventually. There's no way that goes the whole tournament not being picked up. And for now, Kaho showed that he likes to break upkeep and actually fight. Um, he likes to be the first to sort of push in this matchup, but he's not doing it yet. I imagine he would have already built two bears with the gold he has if he wanted to fight. For now, it's very passive for both players. 
Yeah, he still has to catch up in upgrades. One heal scroll down as well. He's probably assessing that situation, thinks oh, yeah, it's uh, not really that great. You're an aura ahead, you're a heal scroll ahead, you're an upgrade ahead, you're an orb ahead. The light is a lot ahead. And a burn ahead as well as he uses that again. Staff out. Demon Hunter going to be safe as houses. Not the player breaking upkeep with similar banks as well. And in the gold mines, 3,800 left apiece. That is uh, are six attack. minutes of mining left for both players. Tons of time to uh, try to break a stalemate. How, though? Yeah. Sneaky expansion. Someone going for chimeras. Always options. Demon Hunter moving deep. Catching a couple of hits and his mana is super low. This drains some moon juice. Nicely done. Kao also supply blocked. This might be one of these games where you research backpack to just have more item slots. Yeah. That would oh. be nice. You can grab a heal scroll. Oh, he's speaking of chimeras. Yeah, there's the first one coming up. Chimeras for Kaho. And, and Wyatt sends a wisp into the main base right now? No way. That's... The scout for the grand oh, final. Oh my god. You mad lad. Oh my god, Loliot. Sees it. Definitely saw it, right? Wow. Yeah, dude. Mike on the wisp. Okay, I'm pretty sure he saw it. Kaho trying to out Law Lion a Law Lion. Doesn't fly, babe. Still 50 supply apiece. Still tons of gold for both players. Staff out on the bear. Lyat is definitely going to have a huge mana advantage thanks to all these mana burns he's been trading. And now the first fight comes in. How effective will the aura be versus the fork lightning? Okay, we also have a protection scroll and a heal scroll. Lawliot going for the grand final here. If he wins this fight, he got it. But two bears, kind of low. One for Kawa as well. Fork lightning does great damage. Naga! Okay, Lawliot didn't want to fight the fight anymore. Forces the hero, gets the TP out. Without major losses in Kaho again, seven pop down and everything's hurt. That's so interesting there. Both players with a huge bank, they both get into a fight and neither player breaks up keep during the fight. Normally you'll do that because you're expecting to lose some units, but both players pretty confident they didn't build those two bears. They're just continuing to bank Kaho 51 though. He needs to dead a wisp or he's just kind of full commit now. He's going to break up keep. <laughs> <laughs> Law Lion builds two expansions at the 10 o'clock and at the 1 o'clock. <laughs> nice. That will probably not be scouted. Cow is expecting this. He got the wisp on the right hand side. He has the right idea, but he doesn't have the right position. Demon Hunter has the right position for that mana burn, but has to be careful. Okay, Keeper is waiting in the wings with the staff. So we'll be safe. And Kahu just never has mana on his Demon Hunter. There's also an engine of wind coming against these chimeras. It's such a, such an expensive transition, especially in time. Chimera roost takes quite a bit. The chimera itself takes quite a bit. And Lawlight is so getting ready for this. Also, third expansion. Hello, little moon. <laughs> Insane. And he still has so much gold because he hasn't broken upkeep. Kaho is up 21 supply, though. Laliat, when are you going to break upkeep? If not now. <laughs> he has a thousand gold. He could easily do it. The wind is finished. I don't okay. know, man. You, Three oh. chims are going to be on the field soon, Laliat. No we'll way. have time probably before those chims can make it across the map to get at least, you know, maybe 12 supply out of those lures. But he's got to do it pretty soon now or there's no way he wins this fight down 20 supply i mean he does have time the chimeras have to cross the entire map yeah that's a long time is there a scout somewhere no not really Dude, these expansions are they all gonna finish <laughs> that's a lot of wisps he needs to commit who he's gonna break up keep with 15 wisps maybe is that the play <laughs> yeah for sure um okay he is so rich though Dude, is he missing his timing? Now he breaks. As soon as the trees are done, he breaks up keep. He's going to need to go up to 100, though, to get, to get a fighting army and supply those expansions. Yeah. That will be 20 gold wisps. Attack. Hippo finds the chimera. Already starting to do damage. Nicely done. Dryad finds the hippo, though. But still, it's all time for the Lyot to even up the supply somehow. 
And he's doing it with more bears. Is confident in the hippo numbers to counter these chimeras. Plus the double orb play, of course. That does a lot of damage as well. But this is Cow's fight. 14 pop lead. These expansions, that's a thousand gold, didn't pay off at all. 3-3 three, three upgrades against 3-2. Can the chimeras carry this? Where are the Hippogriffs, though? I think there's one in the main base of Kaho currently. The next one is going to be focused down. The Lion, I don't know if you could do it. Look at the positioning, the Fork Lightning. The bears are melting on both sides. Oh. But there's the magic damage. The Lion, did you wait too long to break up, Keep A little too cheeky for his own good. He's closing that supply gap a little, but he has no solution against the twin-headed dragons in the air. Plus 26 thanks to Roar. That's insane. And Lawlight, you gotta survive. If you survive this, you probably win the game with your four bases. But how do you do that? How do you hold the Tree of Eternity now? There's only 500 gold left in the main bases, but three Chimeras. And no Eliot didn't produce Dryads when he probably should have. He built more bears. I think yeah. he should have been pumping Dryads the whole time. Yeah, exactly. He's trying to engage, force a TP, maybe. But all this does is force a focus on the Tree of Eternity. Naga! Just dead? Just dead? Oh, yeah. No TP on the Demon Hunter of Kaho either. Lalai, do you have a way in? Even if you kill both heroes, though, can you kill the army? I don't know. I don't know either. This does buy time for more Dryads and more Hippos. The anti-air is growing. There's not much left on the ground for Kaho here. Dude, he might just hold. Lion needs a rejuve desperately, but has no bears. He's pumping Dryads. He's got so much gold, he can continuously pump Dryads. And Hippogriff, he's got he's that demon alive, though. Steph is uh -oh. ready, but he can just turn around. The attention is gone from the Tree of Eternity. This is insane production by Lawlight. He's, of course, the one mining. He can still be producing. This is not over. Oh, he's going to go for that demon. Push him invis invisibility and push him vulnerability. He's going to entangle and try to kill that DH that is inching his way forward to level yeah. 6 as well for both players. Invis Demon Hunter to heal up. Nicely done. Eliot built so many wound wells that he's not even close to being supply blocked. And he's waiting for that moment to engage. Trying to intercept bears with the keeper. Nicely done. That's a free bear. When Chimera goes down to the Demon Hunter and the Hippogriff, but all the HP invested mm -hmm. for that single Chimera. Eliot is doing a, making a miracle happen here, but is it enough still as he continue to produce? Yes, yeah, still he pumping the, units in the main. He got the supply lead! Oh my god, the lion. No way, bro. No, how is that possible? <laughs> because the main's dry. Yeah. Yeah, the main's dry. He's got no, no income. gold left. No income. And Lolite is on three bases. He got that sweet, sweet moment. Cow, this wasn't all in. He only now got nature's blessing. Dude, imagine if he waddles over to the left-hand side and after like two minutes of walking, finally realizes Lolite is banking for minutes. And that's a nice escape. Cow is out of his base. He can continue to produce. He's on three bases. Oh, that Lyot. was masterful. Needs probably a single bear now just to be able to heal up in the back. But yeah, he's got enough anti-air. Kaho goes back. Naga is back. And there's two, two chimeras up in the air. And the Tree of Eternity is waddling, as you mentioned to at least the right base, but still. Lyot, look at the gold go up right now. Three bases. <gasps> yep, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. How are you going to come back if you're Kaho facing elimination down two maps? You have this great moment. You have this brilliant idea with the Chimeras. It almost works until your opponent has three mines. Incredible. And the Tree of Eternity could move over as well. Laliat rebuilds the Ancient of Wonders, which is super necessary currently. And he's almost got level 5 Keeper as well, Laliat. And the level 6 for both players is a possibility. And of course, against Dryads, Kaho's level 6 Demon Hunter could solo the whole army almost. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So close to that. <laughs> I wonder if Lawlai had set himself a challenge here. Like, how far can he go? How long can I wait? Because he saw these chimeras so early. He was yeah. so greedy. It definitely wasn't perfectly calculated, but he <laughs> managed to salvage the situation beautifully. There's the two bears that he needs. They're not going to be great for fighting, but 
It will be great for the lacking healing. Reliant now has a hundred supply cap. Tahoe's gonna be mining soon. Does he realize though? He must realize the Lyot has a ton of income. Yeah, but maybe not. I I don't know, <laughs> dude, but we definitely need a fourth gold mine for Lawliot. Yep. At the red camp. He's got all four reds now. There's still <laughs> crazily three mines left on Turtle Rock here to be taken. This is this is so unwinnable, is it not? 86 supply, Laliat. Rounding out the army with more hippogriffs and more bears. The next fight we will certainly see an ultimate, but the question is which player will have enough mana to use that ultimate? Will either of them? Probably not. There is a big mana potion on Kahu for the entire game. True. Yeah, you should definitely use it for that purpose. It's definitely the best purpose he got left. Oh man, this is heartbreaking. Cow is going to go back at 80, but there's also no scouting going on on his side. Well, all light, he has like hippos, he has Invis Demon Hunter. He got it all, and now we got ourselves a fight. Is that the last one for Cow in one of his deepest tournament runs ever? He needs a miracle now. Lawlight had got one in the previous fight, but how do you survive this without the Chimeras, really? Naga out Naga of the fight as well. Chased. Yeah, it was chased down. Lawlight wasting a lot of time with the Demon Hunter, though. This is time where he's not getting experience and not able to mana burn Kaho's Demon Hunter that now has the ultimate. There's the first ultimate of the oh. day, and a lot of Dryads are taking a ton of damage. Kaho actually kind of winning this fight. There's the level 6, but as I mentioned, no mana burn from Lawlight now means Kaho holds his expo he's still down not one not two but three bases but still oh the keeper <laughs> forced to do a town portal this demon hunter is massacring everything neo yeah that was a sick ultimate and that was also not even the big mana yep. so Kao holds on to the base he still needs to figure out that there's more than one base for lawlight he finds one but guess what there's three more and the supply is a little bit deceiving because the Lyot has 12 supply and hippogriffs that aren't going to find any value any longer. So the supply is, what, 63 against 55 currently in the Lyot's favor. And a lot of that is in Dryads. And Wisps. Yeah, and That's Wisp it. for sure. Yeah, he is. he does have the supply advantage, doesn't he? I guess so. One tree down. But that's the ultimate for Lawlight. He wants to go for the throat of Kaho, and Kaho has no TP enough damage chaos damage is owning this tree and tangle is also owning but level three thorns aura wisps repairing demon hunter back in for kaho but no longer oh. does he have the ultimate online the aoe against the repair is just too strong the only source of income goes down and kaho might be seeing his last days but he's got one more fight in him okay town portal by lawlight can be pulled at any time on the keeper bears of course hurting themselves the entire time thanks to the thorns and this might should give him the win double the supply level six with a trank now is a double ultimate has no mana oh boy oh boy oh boy it's still only cow bears on the ground but the heroes carson is overwhelming naga down and so is Kao. Yeah, he. I was a bit confused there because he lost all of his wisps. He was like, why is that 26 supply? But that is the 3 0 for Lolliot in uh, the strangest game of the tournament, possibly. <laughs> that was wacky from Lolliot through and through this entire series, really. I would still give the Night Elf Mirror versus Foggy on Shadowed Exile the edge, but when Lawlight plays Night Elf Mirror, you are in for a ride. It was unfortunately a ride to hell for the young cow, and this 0-3 and this performance here uh, really doesn't show what he's capable of. Goes 0-6 at the final stage of the tournament. That just pains to see. I hope that you guys remember the play-in stage of Kaho and the first day of Kaho, and also the TP Cup League performance of Kaho, because uh, that was, that's like the real Kaho, I think. So I hope he made a lot of fans, and I hope he bring us, uh, brings us a lot of joy. He's grinding a lot, I'm very, very sure he will be in the top 8 position for season 12 again. But for now, it's Lawlight, and we get a rematch from the DreamHack Grand Final, the season 10 Grand Final.
Is it is three times the charm, Carson? Can Lawlight yeah. do it despite Happy being up 1 0? Yeah, I was going to say the 1 0 advantage is a tall task, but for Lawlight, we could see that creativity come out. Will we see the Lawlight patented warden? Are we going to see him maybe one up Kaho's Demon Hunter play? Um, something Lawlight has done a ton in the past, or will he mimic his peers in playing maybe Mass Air, which has been successful for other Night Elves in Europe as well? Very successful for them. So he's got plenty of cards to play on the table, but Happy, I mean, he pretty much owned Kaho earlier. So that's true. We got two undefeated players today. First, Happy 3 0 versus Kaho. Now, Lawlight 2 0 versus Fly 3 0 versus Kaho. The immovable object against the unstoppable force. That's our grand final coming right at your home screens after a little break. I think Lawlight uh, needs a little bit of a breather. And then, of course, we'll tell you everything about why War 3 Champions is so great. You still have the chance to contribute to the prize pool. 3,500. Can we make it 4K for this very grand final? Happy vs. Lawlight coming up.
we're back everybody grand final time war 3 champion season 11 one series left and we have a little bit of a curse here carson i see a lot of o's i see a 3-0 i see a 2-0 i see another 3-0 can we please not have a 4-0 just like last time yeah, the grand finals, the final day rather, has tend to be a, a little bit cursed in War 3 Champions. We get all the uh, the extremely close series out early on, it seems. But Laliat, I mean, he's playing out of his mind today. He's, he's pulling out all the tricks, pulling out all the stops. And that last game was, I mean, it was very close, but Laliat was kind of styling as it seems. So he's definitely very warmed up. Looking at the results of these two players, Happy versus Laliat, I mean, Laliat always seems to take some maps, but he could never seem to close out the series. The last time he won was Doobie Cup, I guess, semifinals in a best of three was the last series, but um, not a ton of wins on the side of Laliat. Today could be the day, though, but I feel like we always say that, don't we, when it comes to Happy? <laughs> Is today the day for every one of Happy's opponents? Yeah, man, it's kind of weird because I don't know if we s said that already. Laliat isn't even playing from home. He just defeated mm -hmm. Fly 2-0, he even defeated Cow 3-0, while playing from a studio in Korea. Because he was casting before, uh, had no warm-up games at all. So, um, yeah, this is, this is quite a performance. Yeah, I mean, I wonder, I mean, he must have his own keyboard and mouse and stuff. I imagine he moves around with it. That studio can't be too far away from home, but uh, definitely even just the comfort of being... In your bedroom or whatever i mean happy plays so much he streams so much from the same chair the same monitor the same setup and happy is a player that's very actually particular about a setup too as everyone i'm sure in the scene knows at this point with the uh, tissue boxes and all laliat is he the same it doesn't seem like it. it seems like he can play at any setup at any time at any hour that seems to be the case indeed we uh, are sorting the server situation currently as we usually collect all uh, the connections from all players to all servers. So now, unfortunately, Lolliot's ping is a little higher than usual. We'll see. We'll find a solution, as we always find a solution, the fairest solution possible. For you, it, that means that we have a little time. Of course, Lolliot might need a breather here as well after two series that he already played. So what a better way to spend that break then to uh, pause champ no wait there we go then to win some corsair gear we got a keyboard here we also got two headsets here and these could just be yours giveaway dot back to warcraft.com or exclamation mark giveaway in the chat and that leads you to the gleam where you only have to click a couple of buttons <laughs> 